It, it's a real honour to be a patron of the IQ for 2017. I'm delighted to be here. Quarrying is so important. Well, it's very important to the country, but it's particularly important to Derbyshire. And it's, it's serendipitous that uh, this year will be the last year of all the restoration of the stone at Chatsworth. And the new stone that's required to mend the old building has all come from our own quarry down at Burnt Wood, about three miles away, which was the quarry from which the stone came for the first house and then for the wing in the 19th century. So it, it's a nice uh, story that we've been using a lot of stone from Derbyshire to repair this lovely house, uh, and that, of course, involves quarrying. Quarrying is very important to Chatsworth. We have eight uh, quarries under active management at the moment. Uh, quarrying in Derbyshire goes back to the Roman times and is still very, very important. Uh, Derbyshire economy would be in a bad way without it, and uh, it does make a very big contribution. They, the quarry owners, quarry managers, act in a very responsible way, and I think that I personally think a lot of the quarries in the Peak District are very beautiful things. Um, not everybody would agree with that, but it, the fact is you have to extract stone or whatever material quarrying from where it is. And if it happens to be in a, peak, in, in a national park, you still have to take it from there because you can't, it's crazy to get it from overseas. Bess of Hardwick, who bought the Chatsworth estate in the middle of the 16th century, she always had at least two mineral surveyors on her staff. And initially it was mostly lead. Then in the uh, 17th, 18th century, in the 18th century, the fifth duke uh, discovered he had an incredibly valuable copper mine at Ecton. Uh, and the extraction of the copper from Ecton paid for the building and development of the Crescent uh, in Buxton which is a, a, a very important piece of architecture. Car of York built that wonderful hotel, and it's now soon going to be reopened as a hotel and a spa combined. So those are two elements of, of the importance. We, we've also um, benefited from coal extraction, uh, aggregates now, uh, once a week quarry, which makes beautiful building stone, and also very decorative crinoid marble, which is used throughout the house, used by the first duke and the sixth duke, and we've, in, we've put a lot of uh, once a week uh, stone into the house as well. It's called once a week uh, because uh, the quarrymen there were paid once a week. Normally people were paid fortnightly. And uh, obviously it's much better for, for the men to be paid once a week uh, from a cash flow point of view. So ever since my family owned the church of the state 500 years ago, we've been using quarrying materials. This is a, another piece of great good fortune. It, it's, in my opinion, a brilliant idea for the Institute of Quarrying to uh, commission a garden, a contemporary garden, showing all sorts of elements of quarrying, uh, different sorts of materials, concrete, stone, uh, some water will be a feature as well. And of course it includes lots of plants which grow on uh, ex quarries, uh, which have been rehabilitated, wonderful na natural reserves of interesting flora, uh, f which uh, are often quite rare plants. And a final excellent element of the whole IQ garden is that it will be rehabilitated in the National Arboretum, not exactly as it is, but elements of it will be moved to the National so nothing will be wasted. The fact that the stone which from the quarry which built Chatsworth, is in the garden and then goes to the National Arboretum. That makes a nice continuum, a nice story for people to be reminded about how important local quarrying is, uh, even in the national parks.